Row two will be Reiko Chai, Kartika San, and Aaron Tay. In row three, you have Adian and Amin Ashari. So here we go, the red lights will turn on. And when it goes off, we go racing. I think it is Hairi straight into the lead with Eric in second. We're going to see who is trailing behind them. I think that should be Reiko in third, also from it's pretty easy to spot the high ref soya chin chow racing riders. A little glitch there from Eric, but he is chasing down Hyrie in first. So <laughs> pretty much identical situation we saw earlier this morning in the Super Roco race. But Eric goes alongside Hyrie and sweeps into the race lead here. So the All-Stars legend. Defending champion, not wasting much time here in race two. He's not letting uh, Hairi pull away with it. We see Adian there in eight. So clean start for all eight riders. In the front now, leading the way, it is Eric Chia, followed by Mohamed Hairi. So we're going to take a look at the gap between our top riders as they come across to complete lap one of crowd. So we see Reiko Chai in third, Keith Chia, our second uh, All-Stars legend rider in fourth, Katika San in fifth, Amin Ashari in sixth, Aaron Tay seventh, and Adian in eighth. So all eight riders still out there with 11 laps to go. So it's a 12 lap race in total for the All-Stars legend and Supermoto Evo. Eric Chia, who won race one yesterday for the All-Stars legend, he's out there ahead, setting the pace with the best lap time of 108.398 this afternoon. Hairi, half a second behind him, leading the way for the e Supermoto Evo riders. Reiko, 1.9 seconds behind the race leader in third. Keith in fourth. Kadigasan doing uh, well out there in fifth. Amin Ashari in sixth. Day seven, so we still have eight riders out there with ten left to go. Eric, Eric looks a lot more comfortable out there compared to this morning in the Super Roco race. So he might be saving uh, his strategy early this morning. Let's see how he attacks race two here. He has a clean track ahead of him. He can pull away from Hyrie. Already a second gap between the top two. Reiko 3.6 seconds behind. We're going to see if he can pick up the pace and maybe get a Hairi a battle for the Supermoto Evo class. Because for the All-Stars legend, we only have two riders with us this weekend. So it is only between Eric and Keith in fourth. So more attention will be on the Supermoto Evo riders, where we have a high risk in the lead. Rachel chasing him down. Katika San, the third uh, best Supermoto Evo rider in fifth. Followed by Ami, Aaron, and Adian. Eric, as you guys know, is our defending champion for the All-Stars legend. So far, he has been dominating almost every round here for uh, round this season for the Supermoto Championship. He showed uh, how quick he was in his first season, that was last season, where he took home the crown for the All-Stars legend. And he is so far defending very strongly here for High Ref Soya Chinchao Racing. Mohamed Hairi, last year he was in the rookies class. So this is actually his first season competing in the Supermoto Evo class. And he's still continuing to show how talented he is for AS25 Academy. So here we go. This is our race leader, Michael McSue, for the All-Stars legend. Let's take a look now at the gap because it's, it has obviously uh, grown. We can't even see uh, Mohamed Hairi in the same shot anymore. So 
Eric riding very comfortably out there in the front. Mohamed Hairi holding on to second. Reiko looking at the pace that he's been setting in the 107. Doesn't look like he's getting any closer to Mohamed Hairi who's laughing in the 106. So if Reiko wants to try to get uh, Hairi to give up P1 for the Supermoto Evo, he will have to pick up his pace quite a bit in order to close the gap. It's now almost 3.3 seconds between the top two EVO riders. Everyone is sort of spread apart now with seven left to go. We're going to take a look at the gap between the riders in the back to see if anyone's in a battle. But so far, everyone settling down in their position. Patrick Hassan in fifth, he is 0 0.9 seconds ahead of his teammate Amin Ashari in sixth. And Amin is almost 1.8 seconds ahead of Aaron in seventh. Eric, after taking the lead from Hairi in the opening lap, is now five and a half seconds ahead of the top rider in Super Moro Evo. So I think in the back, the closest battle we have is Kartika Sun and uh, Amina Shari, the battle for fifth position. So looking back here, we see the bike number 69, that is Adian. So his best lap time is one ten point three zero two. And we've got a glimpse there of uh, the rider in seventh position, bike number 15, Aaron Tay. So Aaron, he did a lot stronger yesterday in race one. However, during the Super Roco race, we understand that he crashed I think together, he crashed into uh, Amin while trying to overtake Adian. So, not sure if he has any issue with his bike, but he's now all the way down in seven. So, we're still following our race leader for the All-Stars legend, Eric Chia, in now 7.2 seconds ahead. So, we're going to take a look at the comparison between the lap time set by Eric and Muhammad Hairi. So Eric is still lapping in the low 106. Uh, Muhammad Hairi has already uh, slowed down his pace. He's lapping in the high 107. So that explains the obvious growth and the gap between the top two with every lap to go. We're more than halfway through race two. Reiko now 12 seconds uh, behind our race leader. So, yeah, I would say after the overtaking pass made by Eric in the opening lap to take the race lead, we have uh, not have any changes in positions since the start. So Eric, if he takes victory here in race two, he will pick up a uh, double victory once again in round three of the Malaysian Supermoto Championship. For the Supermoto Evo, it will be Muhammad Hairi. So early on the grid, he said he wasn't as satisfied uh, with his performance because he would rather sweep the entire series. But will be satisfied with a victory here in race two. Four laps to go. The battle in the back here, I think that is Keith in fourth, Karnikasan in fifth, and Amin in sixth. So we see now the gap coming down. Uh, Keith in fourth, Karnikasan in fifth, and Amin in sixth. I'm not sure if our camera can try to catch that battle because I think that will be an interesting uh, one to watch between uh, one All-Stars legend and two Evo Riders. And Adyan is down once again. So I think this is the third crash uh, for Adyan this weekend here in Langkawi. 
uh, not the best, strongest weekend for him, but hopefully he will come back a lot stronger in the next round. So three laps to go. The sun is still shining down brightly on us here at Moran Adventure Park in Langkawi, Malaysia. The first time ever that the Malaysian World Championship has been held here on this island. So hopefully we will be back here once again because the feedback that we're getting from many of the riders and the teams is that they really enjoy this uh, the track layout here. It looks like it's very suitable uh, for supermoto racing. So we look forward and fingers crossed that we will be back here more often for more racing. So all eyes still on our race leader there. Just cruising through every turn here. Eric, no. Looks like he's not having any issues there. Just slightly probably preparing for uh, his checkup wheelie really with two laps to go. So just hang in there, Eric. And Hairi Omar still second. Reiko Chai in third, Keith in fourth, Cardi Kassan in fifth, Amin Ashar in sixth, and Adian will be if he managed to rejoin the race because we did see him picking up his bike. Oh yeah, we are almost towards the end of race two for the All-Stars Legend and Supermoto Evo. Eric, his best lap time here in this race is a 105.249. I think that would be his fastest lap of the weekend here in Langkawi. Well, Mahairi, his best lap time was 105.9. So it is very impressive to see our Supermoto Evo and also All Stars Legend Riders being able to set fast lap times here, even if this is their first appearance at this new track. So we're on the final lap here. So just cross the line. So does Keith, Amin, and Kartika San. So a switch in position. Katika san loses out one position to his fellow teammate. The gap now between our top two. 13.8 seconds. Another dominant weekend for Eric in this category. We, for the super rookie, we also saw a dominant race from Shaikh Muhammad. And Eric is doing exactly the same as Shaikh. So coming up next, we do have race two for the All-Stars Pro and Super Moto Advance. Fingers crossed, there'll be more battles. And a perfect wheelie across the line to take his second victory of the weekend. Congratulations to Team High Ref Soya Chinchao Racing and Eric Kia for another double win. We're gonna see Kyrie crossing the line to take second, 15.4 seconds. It's the final gap. Reiko comes across it to take third. Keith takes fourth. Amin moves up to fifth. Kadikasan in sixth. Aaron in seventh. So Adian Yen, uh, unfortunately, will be another did not finish. So that wraps it for the All-Stars Legend and Supermoto Evo. We will be back 